رمضان مبارک رمضان کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد کما صلیت علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید اللہم بارک علی محمد و علی آل محمد کما بارکتا علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید The topic of my درس is of o ihsan that is forgiveness and kindness Allah the Almighty says in the Holy Quran Huzil afwa wa amur bil urfi wa arid anil jahilin Take to forgiveness and enjoin kindness and turn away from the ignorant. An Abdullah ibn Mughaffalin, Anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, Inna allaha rafiqun yuhibbur rifqa wa yu'ti alayhi ma la yu'ti ala al-unfi. Allah loves gent the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah loves gentleness, meaning kindness to his servants, desire to make things easy for them, and not to desire hardship for them. The Promised Messiah, alayhi salatu wasalam, wrote that people who are close to God have to experience terrible verbal abuse, but they abide by, take to forgiveness, and enjoin kindness and turn away from the ignorant. The perfect man, the prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be on him, was badly persecuted and verbally abused. But this embodiment of forgiveness prayed for his enemies instead. In accordance with God's promise, his detractors met the sorry end that was predicted for them, and none could harm the prophet peace and blessings of Allah be on him's honor. In spite of continuous persecution of himself and his companions, when he attained power, he demonstrated a peerless model of forgiveness. Any fair-minded historian could not deny that the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him's attribute of forgiveness and fortitude was unequaled. Once the Holy Prophet وسلم, was returning from a ghazwa and he and his companions were resting under the shadows of trees. The Holy Prophet وسلم, hung his sword on the tree and slept. After a while, a Bedouin who was a disbeliever came and observed that the Holy Prophet ﷺ was asleep. He took the sword in his hand and shouted that, O Muhammad ﷺ, who will save you from me today? The Holy Prophet ﷺ stood up and very calmly he replied, My Allah, this certainty uh, shook the Bedouin and he started trembling and out of fear of Allah, the sword fell from his hand. Then the Holy Prophet ﷺ took the sword in his hand and asked the Bedouin that now who will save you from my hand? He said, only you can save me. The Holy Prophet ﷺ said, I forgive you in the name of Allah. He was so impressed by the character of the Holy Prophet وسلم, that immediately he accepted Islam. The Meccans had persecuted the companions of the Holy Prophet وسلم, very bitterly, especially Hazrat Bilal anhu. They used to beat him, they used to drag him in the streets of Mecca and he would only say, Ahad, Ahad, that there is only one Allah, there is only one God. When the Holy Prophet ﷺ entered Mecca, 
with 10,000 Sahaba, with 10,000 companions. At that time, he also gave one flag to Hazrat Bilal anhu, and he announced that whoever will come under the flag of Hazrat Bilal, he will be given peace. Imagine what would be the condition of Hazrat Bilal, what would be the condition of the people of Mecca. Hazrat Bilal anhu, would have been thinking about his past days which he had spent in Mecca, where Meccans would drag him in the streets, would put heavy stones on his chest and tell the boys to stand on it and jump on it. And he only used to say, Ahad, Ahad. The same Bilal had entered Mecca victoriously today and he was carrying flag of the Holy Prophet وسلم, in his hands. What a beautiful revenge it was. It was a revenge of kindness of the Holy Prophet and whoever came under the flag of Hazrat Bilal Anhu was forgiven. Actually, everyone in Mecca was forgiven. And the Holy Prophet said, La tasriba alaykum al There is no compulsion upon you today. You are free to go wherever you wish. Abdullah bin Ubay bin Salul was the head of the hypocrites who appeared to obey the Holy Prophet وسلم, but did not desist from making filthy attacks on him. The reason for his enmity was that the people of Medina were thinking of making him their leader. But after the Prophet وسلم's migration, all the tribes and people of all religions accepted him as a leader instead. In an incident before the Battle of Badr, the quality of forgiveness of the Holy Prophet ﷺ shone through. The Holy Prophet ﷺ was going to see Sa'ad bin Ubada, who was unwell. Along the way, he passed by an assembly in which Abdullah bin Ubay bin Salul sat along with Muslims, idol worshippers, and Jews. As the Prophet Wasallam's ride passed by, some dust flew on the assembly. Abdullah bin Ubay bin Salul covered his nose and said, Do not throw dust on us. In response, the Holy Prophet Wasallam said his greetings and read some Quran to them. Abdullah bin Ubay bin Salul said, Do not bother us. Go home and read the Quran to whoever comes to your home. A companion who was present said, O Prophet of God, come and read the Quran to us in our gathering. People stood up and an argument ensued. The Prophet asked them to quiet and down and left. After a while, Abdullah bin Ubay bin Sulul became a Muslim but troubled the Holy Prophet وسلم, through his hypocritical schemes. Once returning to Medina, he said very bad words about the Holy Prophet and said that when we enter Medina, we will exclude from it the most disgraced person. And he meant with this the Holy Prophet The Muslims became very angry. Even the son of Abdullah bin Ubay bin Sulul was very angry with these words. He went to the Holy Prophet وسلم, and said, O Prophet of Allah, if you order anyone to kill my father because of his disrespectful words, order me. I will go and behead him. The Holy Prophet وسلم, said, I do not intend so. And I forgive him. And when this person died, his son came again and asked for the garment from the Holy Prophet وسلم, to shroud his father and the Holy Prophet ﷺ fulfilled his wish and he offered his janaza. Hazrat Umar anhu stepped forward and said, O Prophet, Allah has stopped you to seek forgiveness for the hypocrites. Even if you seek forgiveness for 70 times, Allah will not forgive them. The Holy Prophet ﷺ smiled and he understood the Holy Quran better than anyone else. And he said, 
I will seek forgiveness for him, for him more than 70 times. So this was the forgiveness and kindness of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hazrat Khalifatul Musih Al-Khamis Ayyadahullah Ta'ala Ibn Sri Al-Aziz says, Such was the attribute of forgiveness of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be on him. It seemed unlikely to the detractors, but when they experienced it, they accepted Islam. If only the Muslims today understood this point, they can help Islam advance manifold. If only they reflected on the blessed model, may God give them this sen the sense to do so. Wa akhirud da'wana. Nilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.